Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Magnifico from JR's Vet and Pobbly.com. This is Sylvester. He is a rescue cat. He came to, today to us. Um, he has an oral hematoma or, what we call, or an ear hematoma. So the two sides of the ear pinna are full of blood. This is a pretty significant case. Um, for all of these guys, we always talk about you have to resolve the hematoma. So we've got to drain this blood. If you don't drain the blood, the ear will shrink and become abnormal looking. It's sort of, we call it sort of cauliflower ear. The bad part of that about that is it predisposes them to future ear problems um, and then we got to figure out what his underlying cause is in some cats and it's infection it can be ear mites it can be allergies and in some cases it's trauma so repeated trauma to the ear will cause this hematoma to develop that's what boxers get people who are fighters that's what they get the procedure that we're gonna do here today because it's a cat and because we want to try to keep this ear pinna standing up is I'm going to make an S shape incision on the medial side I'm gonna drain the blood and then I'm gonna put stay sutures to hold the sides of the ear pinna back together and then he's gonna to have to have an e-collar that goes home and then we have to figure out what's going on in that ear so I'll look in the ear and see if I can figure out what the underlying cause is if you don't do all of those things it will recur in some cases it does recur anyway because he's a rescue cat I'm gonna make a really a large incision um, and two large stay sutures to hold it um, and then from there we'll see how he does and we'll see how it goes um, I'm gonna finish this video and then I'll post a blog on oral hematomas in cats so you can go back to my blog and see the rest of that if you have a question about oral hematomas or cats or ear issues or anything pet related you can find me anytime here at Jared's Full Vet in Harford County Maryland or on Polly.com. Take care. Good.